Hey there, good afternoon. This is Matt up in Washington State. Uh, today we're going to go over some of the things that we have done to our AR-15s. One of the things that we think is, is a must-have is betting your AR-15 barrel. The, the, the AR-15 is, is the modern sporting rifle has become very popular in the last 10 to 15 years. It's getting even more popular with the prices dropping and being competitive. The problem that you have is a lot of the barrels do not actually meet up with the upper receivers as well as they should. And therefore your accuracy and your consistency will drop. So today we're going to show you how we took our barrel apart, surfaced the front of the upper receiver, and then bedded the barrel again with Loctite 620. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below and please enjoy this video. Okay, here we have the upper receiver in a vice block and then this vice block is then put in a six inch vice. Six inch vice will work just fine with anything that you need, but I've also heard that four inches will work as well too. The purpose of this part of the video is to show you exactly where we're working at. Now I've already removed the barrel nut and I've already removed the gas block and the, also the compensator so everything's already slid off. I want you to pay attention to right here between the threads and the barrel extension. This part right here, this is the surface I want you to pay attention to. So I'm going to go ahead and just move the barrel in a circular motion. As you can see there's a lot of movement. You might even be able to hear it a little bit, but there's a lot of movement in there. That is what's causing, what I feel is causing my MOA to be way off at 100 yards. Now I'm not looking for, you know, quarter inch MOA at 100 yards with a 223, um, especially a 223 wild and an AR-15 platform. I'm looking for a one inch or less, okay? A one inch is, I'm, I'm very happy with one inch. Betting your barrel should take a quarter MOA out of your grouping at 100 to 200 yards. You'll see a lot more as you go down as how much actual it takes out, two, three, that's the one that comes very apparent how much we're taking out. So again, I'm gonna remove this barrel. Again, it's easy, very easy to remove because of how loose it is. Now the surface that you're looking at right here is the upper receiver surface. This is the part that we're going to go and we're gonna resurface this part here to make this 100% true. It might already be true, it might not, I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it true. Once we make it true, we'll then reinsert the barrel, we'll put Loctite 620 on it, and then we'll torque it down to anywhere between 35 to 80 foot-pounds. I like about 35 to 40, but again, the specs are from 30 to 80 foot-pounds of torque, depending on what upper receiver you have and also what um, barrel nut and barrel you have. Here's your lapping tool that we're gonna be using to lap the face of the upper receiver. Um, this is the body of the tool, this is what goes inside the upper receiver, and then this is the surface of the tool is what we're going to be lapping, uh, cutting away the material on the upper receiver itself. Today we're going to be using the 220 grit rubbing compound or lapping compound instead of the 600 grit because the 600 grit is made for more polishing where the 220 is made for cutting through material. Uh, the reason again why we're doing this is to make sure we have a perfectly flat and brand new surface when we put the barrel extension into there and then we also tighten it up with the barrel nut. So here the lapping tool has been inserted into upper receiver. When you do insert the, uh, the tool in there, make sure you put a lot of oil on the shaft of the tool so that way when it slides in and out, it doesn't really bind or grind and it runs pretty smooth. We're gonna take a little bit of rubbing compound, not much, and we just put it on the edge of this tool and just spread it out with your finger. It doesn't take much, just a drop or two. And then we're gonna go ahead and push this into, as you can hear it, into the upper receiver. Now some people like to put their tool on there, uh, a, a drive or whatever like that. Some people like to do it just by hand. And if you can turn it by hand, you can actually hear it as it starts to cut away a little bit of the material. And you only wanna do a couple turns and then bring it back and take a look at it, wipe it clean, and then take a look at it and see how much exactly it's actually cutting or surfacing. Now it hasn't really touched much of it, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it a couple times here and then come back to see it show you exactly what it's done. <laughs> okay, as you can see here, and we rub our finger across it, it's nice and smooth and nice and, um, nice and flat. 
You can see where some of the material came off and where some hasn't come off yet, that's just fine. We just wanna make sure that this surface is almost 100% plain. Now, you're not gonna get 100% perfect, but you get pretty close. If you take too much material off, you're gonna end up having some headspace issues, so we wanna make sure that we don't take too, too much off, just the coating, and make sure that that upper receiver face is about as 100% as it's gonna get. It's not gonna get 100, but it's gonna get pretty close. So now the next step here is to go ahead and take it out of the vise. Clean it very well because you don't want to leave any of that grit anywhere because once it starts rubbing back and forth, you're going to start having issues down the road. Take it out, clean it really good, um, pressure wash it if you have a pressure washer or any kind of uh, sonic cleaner, and then we're going to um, bed the barrel. All right, so as you can see here, we're using Loctite 620. It's the green Loctite. We're going to be using this, and we're going to spread it evenly over the barrel extension part of the barrel. So I just use a little bit, a couple of drops here. I'm going to take my finger and it's going to spread. Now you don't need that much because this stuff is going to expand. And I just spread it evenly over. Now we want to have it spread it evenly over. You're going to go ahead and insert the barrel. Wipe off any excess. And then you're going to take your barrel nut and you're going to run your barrel nut all the way up. And tighten it down. Now I like to tighten it down by hand. And then I come back with a, usually a, an adjustable wrench. Again, this one is a, a one and one sixteenths. So we're gonna use adjustable wrench. Just tighten up by hand. And then I'm going to use my torque wrench. It's already preset. I got my torque wrench preset to 30 pounds. Now when you do your torque wrench, you wanna make sure you're at a 90 degree angle. And then with only the torque wrench and only torque wrench only, is I want to torque this to at least 40 foot pounds. So right there, that's at least 30. And then I'll go ahead and increase it. So 40, that's 40 foot pounds. And then what I like to do is I like to remove the upper and put it in the Now, as you can see, it's in the hanging down below. It's still tightened to make sure it doesn't go anywhere, but I like to hang it below. That way, any of the, the uh, Loctite or anything like that won't go into the action area.